today's a good one. Today's a good one. Mm, mm. Welcome back to the DIY Designer. Thanks so much for being here. Today, we are doing something that has been highly requested, so I'm really stoked. I posted this photo on my Instagram of me wearing this wrap skirt situation, and I said, do you guys want to learn how to do a no-sew wrap skirt? And there was an overwhelming yes. Now, wrap skirts are amazing. They're perfect for the summer. It's like 135 degrees outside, so this is a great time to wear like an easy, breezy, gorgeous wrap skirt. But a lot of you guys don't know how to sew. And even people who do know how to sew, sometimes you just don't want to sew. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So this is going to be a totally no-sew project. Now, Anytime you're doing a no-sew project, there are certain compromises that have to be made. So in this particular one, we're going to be using snap tape. This is not going to have a long strap that's going to tuck in and wrap around and tie. This is going to wrap in on itself and click into place. It's going to look super cute, but it is going to be slightly different than a traditional wrap skirt. So I hope that you guys like this one. I can't wait to show you. Let's do materials. All right, we're gonna do this in the mirror because you're gonna need to do this in the mirror when you are making yours. Now, the first thing I did is I took a skirt that I liked just for length. So I used this to cut my fabric. My fabric is that length, see the bottom? It comes right about exactly as I wanted it. So I would recommend buying a yard and a half of fabric. If your fabric is sheer, you're gonna need a little bit more because you're gonna have to fold down part of it so that it's not see-through. Take your fabric and wrap it around. Everything starts with what is gonna wrap over the outside, the part you actually want to see. So I know that I want this outer piece to end kind of like that because then I'll have a little bit of a slit. So this is where I want it to end. So now you work backwards. You say, okay, if this is where I want it to end, then this side's gonna wrap over like this. Now I wanna have a slit in mind, so I don't want this to go this far. So knowing we want this here, I'm gonna look at about how much excess I have. So take the excess, and this is kind of a test. Grab it like this, say, okay, if I cut off this much and wrapped it, would that give me the look that I want? Mm, kind of, I think I might want a little more than that. So take your piece, that excess, grab your pin, just like this, just to keep it in place so that I can really get a sense of it. Take this side, pull it nice and tight. That's the vibe that I want. You don't actually have to use the snap tape. You can just say, okay, I'm putting a safety pin right here. I'm putting a pretty brooch, something you're gonna see right here. And that's it, you're done. But I wanna do mine with snap tape. This is where we are gonna decide on the location of our snap tape. Now, from here over to here, I'm gonna put the male side of my snap tape. And from right here, over to the edge here, I'm gonna put the female side. So what's gonna happen is, when it goes like this, I'm gonna be able to go pop, snap, pop, snap, pop, snap, and I'm gonna be able to snap this into place, holding it and making it adjustable, which is so, so cool. So I just need to mark it, which I've done. So I've put a little pin right here. I know that this is the beginning of my female side. I know that the edge, obviously, is the beginning, and I'm ending it right here where I put another pin. All right, so the first thing that I did was glue down that little overlap. I decided not to cut it because what ended up being really cool is that it gave me a perfectly clean finished edge on my slit. So I just glued the top down and I actually glued the side down a little bit. That way it would stay exactly in place where I wanted it. Now, once everything is nice and flat and my edges are done, I separated the male and female side of my snap tape because obviously we're only putting one part on each side. You wanna start at the very beginning because it's super important that that edge is as tight as it possibly can be. I go all the way to the pin, which is the mark that I left myself, and then I cut off my excess. You wanna make sure to use a good amount of glue here. The Fabri-Tac is the only thing holding this thing together, so give yourself a good amount of glue. Fabri-Tac generally takes about 24 hours to cure, so before you're really wearing it, give it that full 24 hours. Now lay your snap tape onto your skirt, sort of tapping and laying it down. You wanna make sure that there is no bubbles, that there's no like little pleats, so smooth it out. Now fold your skirt the way it's actually gonna be worn because on one side the snap tape goes on the inside and on the other it actually goes on the outside. So make sure to lay it down exactly as it's gonna overlap so you ensure that you put your snap tape in the right place. There is my marking for the inside of my skirt. That's where I, I gave myself a pin. So that's where I'm starting. 
I'm gonna lay it down and I see that I have some excess, but I'm not gonna cut it until I'm done gluing, just to be safe. So again, give yourself a good amount of glue right up until the very edge of that fabric. We're gonna fold this waistband down so you wanna start at the very, very tip. Now I'm doing the same thing, working my way, making sure to not have any bubbles or pleats in it at all. Now you can pick it up and kind of smooth it out. That ensures that everything is laying really flat as well. Now that I know that I have the right, exact right size, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off that excess as absolutely close to the edge as I possibly can. Now lay it down and give it all the time it needs to dry. Okay, so that super cute skirt is drying, and while it's drying, I wanna show you a second version. Now, this version is, in case you have a skirt that's slightly sheer or a fabric that's slightly sheer, when the sun shines through it, you don't wanna be able to see your boote. So this is a, a different way of doing it. It's also gonna be shorter and draped in the front. So both these styles can be interchanged. Okay, take your fabric, which is slightly sheer, and you wanna fold over. Now this fold over is dependent on how high waisted you want it. The higher waisted you want it, the longer it needs to be because it needs to cover your butt. And I want to wear it higher waisted so you can see. Can you see the overlap? See how it only covers half my butt? That's definitely not long enough. That looks about right. Okay, so this is a different style. Now I'm going to wrap it just like we did over here. I'm going to let it go a little bit more. And here I'll add my snap tape, I'll add my snap tape all the way and I'm gonna stop here, letting this front part drape. It'll snap together right here, and then this will be open and free, so it's got like an asymmetrical, it's a knee-length dress with a really cool asymmetrical detail, all out of one piece of fabric. Again, totally no so. Now, when we're doing the snap tape, starting here and going all the way around, I'm gonna mark it because that's where I want my male side and then starting here going right to here and ending here is where i'm going to put my female snap tape so now we're just going to go do the exact same thing so obviously we're just going to be adding our female snap tape to one side and our male snap tape to the other exactly as we did on the first skirt oh my god i hope it looks cute thing you have to do now is fold it under. All that you want to do here is take a piece, take like a corner, and you're just going to tuck it up. It's going to create a really pretty pleat over here and a really pretty pleat down here. And then you just use a safety pin to hide it. All right, well that's it. I kind of love them. I gotta say these are gonna make for fantastic wrap skirts throughout this insanely hot summer season we're having. They're perfect, they're effortless. And like I said, anytime you're doing something that's a no-so, there's usually a couple of compromises that have to be made. And in this case, the compromise on the long skirt is just that you're folding in that waistband. And on this skirt, it's just that really pretty fold up. It ends up making it look really beautiful, but anytime there's no-so, there's usually a little creative hiding that we're doing here and there. So those are our two hides. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Mwah! Mwah! Love you!